Hey basketball players, today I'm going to give you some amazing small forward basketball moves that you can use in game. Let's get down to it. Okay, so let's face it, as a small forward you have to be as fast as possible but also as strong as possible so that you can drive on any single player and also you need to be able to shoot as best as you can because the small forward, let's face it, it used to be a slashing, cutting position but now it's turning more into a shooting three-point position now another reason why you need to be faster and stronger is not just because you're trying to drive on players and try to cut on players and try to get the advantage with your strength but also that strength and speed will come in handy on the defensive side but we're not going to be talking about defense today. So this first move comes from Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam is one of the biggest up and coming players in the NBA and I bet he's going to be killing it this year in the playoffs. But one of the moves that got him so much playing time was number one, the fast break. Every single time he either got that rebound or a teammate got that rebound, he was darting down court. Another thing is when he was closing out on a shot, he would contest that shot, he would box out his player, and then as soon as one of his teammates got that ball or just about got that ball, he was running down court. Now this is not necessarily a move, but this is a very good strategy that you can, that you can use yourself. And that is the reason why he got so much playing time in the beginning was because of his speed. He runs like a gazelle. So because of that, he was able to get down court before anybody else. Kyle Lowry would be the outlet player or the rebounder, and he would then basically bomb that ball down court. Pascal Siakam would get an open layup or dunk. And we've seen this a lot in last year's playoffs and the playoffs before that. Now this next move is the move that is Pascal Siakam evolved into, but we also see other players like Jason Tatum and many others using this move. And this is the spin move. So basically how you use the spin move is when you're driving towards the rim, you've got your defender on your left side. And now from that spin move or from that move, you plant that inside foot, the foot that's closest to your defender, and what you're trying to do here is to try, this is how I like to use the spin move. I try to plant this foot in front of their foot. This allows me to seal them a lot better. So I'm gonna plant that foot in front of theirs. You're gonna try not to trip them, but it could happen, which will get you just an easier layup. But you're gonna get one foot in front of theirs. You're gonna spin. Now you've got an option. If you're farther out from the rim, you can take one more dribble. If not, you can literally go up like that on this side. Meanwhile, your player, your defender, is still facing that way. So, we're gonna be driving down, get that left foot in front of theirs, one and up. Very quick, very simple move that you can incorporate into your game. Now, as a small forward, you need to know some post position. And you can actually build off of the spin move when it comes to the post. So we've actually seen this a lot with Pascal Siakam this, this year. He's been doing it along this, uh, the baseline. And let me show you that one. So many times this year and last year, Pascal Siakam would be driving baseline or he would be starting a bit higher and coming in from the free throw line extended and driving baseline. Now, a lot of players, even himself, he would go in and just do a hop step into his player and go up for that shot. And that's 100% a move that you could use just to build onto this next move I'm gonna show you. So you can drive, bang, in, your defender's behind you or beside you and you have yourself a wide open shot, layup, whatever. And now, this next move is going to start off the same. You're going to be driving baseline. However, you're going to spin move and you can do the hook shot. Now, I'm not going to go over that one because we just basically did that on that side. But this next move is a build on on that. So you're gonna be driving, plant, turn, pivot back, and you still got yourself a shot. 
And this is a move that Pascal Siakam has been doing a ton this year, especially when he starts getting a double team coming from that other side. He'll see it coming. He'll do that fake spin. They're going to be, his defender's going to be moving over. That defender's going to be moving in. Staying straight up, he pivots back. He's got himself an open baby hook shot. And now this final move that I'm going to show you is a mid-range move. You can do this from the three-point line because we've seen Dirk Nowinski use this from the three-point line. But this is a really good small forward move. So basically what you're going to start with with this move is two dribbles. You're going to go swipe through, one dribble, second dribble on this left foot. Now on a spin move, you would be reaching all the way around with this right foot. However, we're not going to be reaching all the way around with that pivot. We're going to go up towards a 45 degree angle away from the rim. We're gonna turn, that's our two steps, and we're gonna do a little bit of a fadeaway taking that shot. Now I hope that this video has helped you become a better small forward in basketball. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe. If you feel like supporting this channel, go check out the merch down below on the shelf. I'll see you guys again next time.